How's it going guys? About 7 a.m. Here on a beautiful Monday in Scapoos. Got a couple things I want to work on today and a couple of things I want to show you. I guess we'll start with an unboxing and then we'll go from there. First thing I want to show you is something I thought was pretty cool and was a really great deal. If you have a GoPro, you probably know what this is. This is their uh, high-end smart remote. I'm going to put a link down in the description. They have these for eight bucks a piece shipped on eBay. And I think he had over a hundred of them. It, it comes with just the remote and nothing else. So you have to order a charging cable for it, which was like seven bucks off of Amazon. So I will include a link down in the description for both of these, but this is a really great deal if you have a GoPro of any sort. These remotes are awesome. They um, speak with the camera so you know what the status of the camera is and you can put all the settings and everything through the remote. So just something I wanna share with you. Got a big box sitting there in the background. Let's open that bad boy up. Give you guys a hint as to what's in the big box. I got this on Saturday, I believe. So this might be a hint. It's a really thick aluminum foil tape. want to let you guys know that this was not my idea. This uh, was an idea I picked up from uh, Chad Lynch on his uh, Broke Overland page and I will include a link right up here to his page. He's got a lot of cool videos and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. In his video, he used the half inch version of this stuff. This is the three quarter thick version, which is cheaper than the half inch version for whatever reason. And uh, it's made by Dynamat. And it's a must for noisy diesel engines. And if you watch Broke Overland channel, you'll see that he did a uh, test which showed an eight decibel decrease in cab noise. So pretty cool setup, which is what the aluminum tape is for. Something else I wanted to mention to you guys is that if you have one of these trucks I highly recommend getting it tuned and running properly and going through and fixing all the things. You wouldn't believe how much better. Shop cat, oh, four is coming out. Oh, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. She's not sure what she wants to do. Um, anyhow, hi, hey, Aura. Guys, get one of these trucks, get it running properly, get it tuned and dialed in. You wouldn't believe how much better and more fuel efficient they are when you have somebody go through the motor and uh, get the valves adjusted, get the uh, governor on there adjusted, all those things. And the drivability factor, it's so much more fun to drive. I just want to let you guys know that, that once you get these things running properly and all of the bells and whistles and all of the old stuff ripped out and the new stuff put in, uh, it's a night and day difference from when we got Able almost a year ago now, so uh, something I highly recommend. Just go through the systems one by one. Don't let it overwhelm you. Don't be afraid to take things apart and figure out how they work. These trucks are actually very simple to work on from what I'm seeing. 
and uh, they're actually really reliable if you take care of them from what I'm seeing so uh, to all the naysayers out there yeah I know it it gets 10 miles per gallon whatever it's a it's an oversized motorhome but we can go wherever we want and uh, it's something we really enjoy doing so just wanted to get that in the video and uh, let you guys know that we're having a blast with Abel. Aside from the Dynamat for the hood, I got something here that's really making me angry. See this? We just fixed this in a previous episode and I think what happened is I was pumping it one day and one of the O-rings in there let loose and then it got really hard to pump. And now it's just being a ding dong. So, what I think we're gonna do, I've never done this before, so it's good to have the experience. I got this off of eBay for like, next to nothing. It was probably like 40 bucks. Not sure if it works or if it leaks all over the place or whatever the case may be. But, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and remove that and uh, install this one and see how it goes. And I think there's gonna be cherry syrup everywhere. So I'll have to get a bucket out there and whatnot, but I think we'll start with that. I uh, took the old one off and I poured all the fluid out of it and at the bottom there was a bunch of metal chunks so I'm not quite certain what that's all about the screens were still in it and uh, I'm not sure I don't know <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys. This stuff turned out way better than I expected. Uh, you guys are right about that aluminum tape. I've never used aluminum tape at any point in my life, and that stuff, I don't know what they use on it, but it's like pine sap, tree sap or something. It just sticks to everything. But uh, two rolls of this stuff, I'll leave a link down in the description. The three quarter inch stuff is again, it's cheaper than the half inch stuff. I don't know if there's a greater noise reduction with the half inch versus the three quarter or the three quarter versus the half inch, I don't know. I just think it's a neat modification to do and uh, it looks appropriate inside there like that. So as far as this thing goes, there's still some air pockets in the system which takes it a little bit of time to catch up with the fluid but it seems to be working fine. Uh, shorter video today but a good modification to do if you have one of these trucks still waiting on some uh, air conditioning fittings and uh, got some other surprises coming up for you guys so stay tuned to the channel if you uh, like this video give me a thumbs up hit like and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I like trying to keep you guys entertained and on your toes with what's coming up next. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.